And as Sri Lanka gears up for a crucial presidential election, the country's election commission has laid down a clear mandate with respect to campaign expenditures. Just on Monday, Sri Lanka's Commissioner General of Elections said that any presidential candidate who defies the limitations stated under the Expenditure Act will be disqualified from the race. And that's not all. The candidate can also potentially lose their civic right for up to three years. This is the first time that Sri Lanka's presidential elections have come under the ambit of campaign finance regulations. Since the law was implemented in January last year, as per the official notification, each contesting candidate is authorized to incur total expenses not exceeding approximately 5 million US dollars. In another development, the Commonwealth has decided to deploy an observer group to Sri Lanka after the country officially invited several organizations and blocs for the September 21st election. According to an official notification by the Commonwealth, the 14-member observer group will be in Sri Lanka from 15th to 27th of September. Now, correspondent Dasunia Thauda has more on this from Colombo. With less than three weeks to go for Sri Lanka's presidential election, the country's election commission stands firm that any and all candidates who overspend beyond the stipulated budget per candidate will face the risk of being disqualified from contesting. That's not all. Election monitors from the European Union are in the country and will be observing the island nation's entire election process from start to finish and will be compiling a final report shortly after the conclusion of the country's presidential election. Reporting for We On World is One from Colombo, I'm Dasmiya Thauder. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.